no. I just got back from the garden and look what we found. Huge zucchinis. What are we going to do with these things? Start by finding a big piece of glass, or in my case, I found a skylight. And then look for all the pans in your kitchen. Get every pan you have and every cooling tray you have, cooling rack. And then put the cooling racks in the pans for optimal space. And you're going to want a cover for each cooling rack. Here I use some silverware so I can cover them like this and the airflow will still go underneath. And then use the dark side up so it absorbs the most heat once it'll be under the skylight. Arrange the pans so they fit under the glass. Once you've arranged the pans to fit under, it's off to the kitchen. The vegetables will shrink in the sun, so make sure they're not going to shrink so small that they fall through the rack. Also, I added some tomato and salt. For the tomato, I just kind of squished it around and put the seeds on the vegetables. It adds some flavor. It tastes really good. The glass or skylight in the sun where it'll get sun for most of the day. Now let it bake for about six hours or until it's crispy. The shade hits it before it's crispy. You may have to bring it inside for the night and try again tomorrow. Yesterday when this heated up, I measured temperatures of 166, so bugs were not a problem. They would just get fried if they got anywhere near this hot box. Wow, they shrunk a lot. They look nice and crispy. We actually had to do these three days because the second day was kind of cloudy. These are the ones with the tomatoes. They look like little pizzas and oddly enough they smell like bread.